Hello, welcome to another video in the series on how to use CNC Write. This video will go into the details of the circle and ellipse text tabs. First, the circle text tab. Circle text can be useful for engraving on the end of a part made in a mill turn machine. With a round face, engraving text in a circle may be the best way to add a part number or a serial number if there isn't room for the text otherwise. The Circle Text tab provides the ability to engrave text around a circle either clockwise or counterclockwise. The center of the circle will be at the point indicated by axis 1 and axis 2 start, with the radius entered in the radius field. If clockwise is selected, the baseline of the text will be tangent to the circle. If counterclockwise is selected, the top of the text will be tangent to the circle. The text to be engraved around the circle can come from two places, either the circle text field on this tab or the sequence tab. Details on how the sequence tab works will be in a future video. The justification point of the text can be at any point on the circle and is controlled by the text angle field in the axis one section. As shown in the image, zero degrees is at the three o'clock position and moves around the circle counterclockwise with 90 degrees being at 12 o'clock, etc. When I was working on the last video, I decided to add a progress indicator to show how much of the circle the text entered will use. The progress indicator updates when the circle text field changes. So if you make a change, to the text height, width ratio, spacing ratio, or circle radius, you will need to change what's in the circle text field before the progress will be updated. I usually just add a space and then delete it. The progress indicator has three states or colors, green, yellow, and red. Green indicates you are using less than 90% of the circle. Yellow means you are using 90% or more and red means the text is too long to fit around the circle. Now for a quick example. I'll start by putting the word north clockwise around the circle centered at the top. Now I'll put the word south counterclockwise centered at the bottom of the circle. Now moving to the NC Viewer website, we'll see what that looks like. I added G codes for a circle to make it easier to see how the text aligns with that circle. Switching back to the CNC Write software, I'll move to the Ellipse Text tab. The previous video gave a good introduction and examples to the Ellipse Text tab. The ellipse text tab works similar to circle text. Text can be engraved around the ellipse either clockwise or counterclockwise. The center of the ellipse will be at the point indicated by axis 1 and 2 start. Like circle text, if you select clockwise, the baseline of the text will be tangent to the ellipse. If counterclockwise is selected, the top of the text will be tangent to the ellipse. The main difference is there are only four justification points that can be used, A, B, C, or D, as indicated in the image. And of course, the major and minor axis length is entered instead of a radius. This tab has a progress indicator similar to the one on the circle text tab. The progress indicator is updated when the ellipse text field is changed. So if the text height, width ratio, spacing ratio, or the size of the ellipse is changed, the progress indicator won't update until the ellipse text field is changed. The progress indicator has three states or colors, green, yellow, and red. Green indicates you are using less than 90% of the ellipse. Yellow means you are using 90% or more, and red means the text is too long 
to fit around the ellipse. You can experiment with all of these settings by downloading CNC Write and using the website NC Viewer. Just remember the limitations of the free trial that are described in the intro video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will be posting another video soon that will go into details on the Sequence tab. If you need to know more before the videos are finished, you can find good explanations of all the fields by clicking on the different parts of the image on the Screenshots page of the website at cncwrite.com. Until next time.